Well, it's the end of day five. I'm in um, Kingman, Arizona. Uh, gonna spend the night, or I'm spending the night. I'm prepared to spend the night. Hit the road today around seven ish. Fairly nice day. Uh, saw some interesting stuff. Uh, was leaving um, Holbrook where I spent the night, and uh, there was a um, side of a building had the uh, whole Route 66. Uh, uh, route laid out, all the different cities that it goes through and everything. It was pretty Illinois. interesting. Took some pictures, did some taking Saint out Lewis. there. Springfield, Joplin, so on, so forth, etc. Of course, now I pick up 66 right here at Oklahoma City. That sucked. And on up through. I've ridden on just about all of it through here. That I can find, that is. Sweet dreams are made of this. And it would appear, according to this, that I'm right there. <clears throat> uh, I drove on out. So, some of the best ride is up through Needles, around Oakland, California. And this time I plan to go on through Barstow on it, see what it looks like. Hit little bits of Route 66 here and there. Got back. Yeah, drove on into uh, Winslow. I wanted to stop at the Winslow Airport. And as I was heading out, I noticed the bike was a little squirrely. Just a little wiggle. Stopped. I checked the... Um, make sure everything was battened down. Uh, still a little squirrely. And I'd noticed when I left here, I thought the rear tire looked low. But I thought... Nah, I'm just imagining things. Anyway, stopped it. You know, checked the air pressure, and it was indeed low, so I heard it up, and I thought, well, I better check. And there was something in it. Well, it would appear I picked up something. Here. I'm going Plug it, plug the tire. Turns out what was in it was a piece of the Carter key that it held my brake pads in that I had lost outside of Memphis. Uh, what are the chances of a piece of that coming off, bouncing, getting into the tire? Plus, it's been in there since Thursday night. Just now, well, well, I'm in the Winslow the Airport. Uh, Winslow is where um, the airport. Uh, the YB-49 uh, made an emergency landing there after leaving Washington, D.C. And uh, it was either 1949 or 50. Uh, uh, no oil. There was no oil put in the tanks. And uh, that was a controversy where it was um, sabotage or whatever. But anyway, uh, landed out there. And uh, I was at the airport and I met an Jack and uh, lived in Winslow since World War II. And he remembers when it landed. Quit and cleared up and I rode it into toward Kingland and picked up Route 66. <laughs> stop, you might call it, it's called Two Arrows. Legend has it that Two Arrows got its name from uh, a Indian chief 
who had fired uh, two arrows into the air at night to each other, oh, f me, was trying to uh, select a bride, and he had selected a bride, but he wasn't sure if she truly loved him, so he fired two arrows into the night, and uh, if they landed close together, representative of the two arrows, I just made that up. At Road Route 66 on into Kingdom, well, it's about well, 75 miles. Nice, some nice ride, nice Route 66. Uh, as I got on, I noticed that it said uh, reconstructed Route 66. And what they've done is they redone the road. I guess it got so tore up. They repaved it, but not exactly on the same road. And you could see the old Route 66 off to the side in places. I got on, checked it out, stuff. Uh, interesting. And then rode on into Kingman. Uh, well, I just got gaxed in gas in Trunkston, Arizona. Gonna head on into King. I had dinner. Did some odds and ends on the bike. You will never guess in a million years what I'm doing. Don't worry, I'm a bike. I just the clutch. It's been kind of grabby. See if I can straighten it out a little bit. Get a few minor adjustments. We'll see if that does the trick. Odds and ends like that. Check the transmission fluid. Check the transmission fluid. And I'm gonna check the old transmission fluid. You son of a bitch. I had to put some in tomorrow. Planned uh, tomorrow. Going to the dealer and get an oil filter. Of course, the two that I bought, I left at home. God damn it. Uh, change oil, smooth odds and ends. I want to get a camera mount rigged up. And if the weather holds, I'm going to go on into hope. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. So, uh, good night.